Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel at NDN TV Nigeria. Click on the subscribe button and be the first to get notifications. Indigents of Igbide community in Isoko South local government area of Delta State have called on the federal government and its agencies to come to their aid with the completion of the long-abandoned Akuga Road, which provides the community direct access to the East-West Road. Correspondent Takana Milfore reports that the call was made following the constant blockade of alternative routes in and out of the community by rival communities of Enwe and Emede as a result of communal clashes over land disputes. Construction work on the access road from Uzoro through Igbide to the east-west road commenced in 1982, as can be seen from the inscription on this culvert in Igbide. The project was, however, put on hold after the military took over the reins of government in 1983. Since that time, some 39 years ago, the Ibide people say successive governments have promised to complete the road project but have not lived up to their promise. Ibide is currently surrounded by three communities, Enwe, Emede and Olomoro, all of which provide access routes into Ibide. However, Ibide people say, apart from the Olomoro Road, which is in a state of disrepair, they suffer constant blockade along the Enwe and Emede axis at the slightest sign of communal disputes. The access road that leads to Igbide, they are blocked. One is blocked at Emede by the Emede people. The other one is blocked by Enwe, who is our neighbor. So we only pass through the small patch, patch, patchment of road that pass through Lumuru to Igbide. That is the only way we are coming to Igbide right now. The Igbide people, through the Igbide Development Forum IDF, are now asking the federal government to, as a matter of urgency, come to their aid with the construction of the Igbide end of the road, a stretch of seven kilometers that terminates at the east-west road. A community that has 11 oil wells and a flow station has no access road for them to get out of the place is unbelievable. Known as Akuga Road, named after initiator of the project, the late Honorable Clement Akuga, a former member of the old Bendel State House of Assembly, the road was part of demands presented by the Isoko Development Union when it met with President Buhari in Aso Rock in 2018. Another road we mentioned to him that uh, uh, our late Papa Akuga initiated for the MED, Oteri Bide Uzere uh, Road, which he also said the Minister of, uh, Minister of Works will give attention to. Yes, the Minister of Works visited here in uh, 2018 and went to inspect the road. But up to now, nothing has been done. For six decades, oil has been mined in Igbide, yet the people say, there is no fiscal presence of the federal government in their community. They say the construction of this road will at least give them a sense of belonging. From here to uh, Emedi, the road is bad. To Lomo, the same thing. To Enwe, the same thing. So we are just staying without any development. My appeal is that either NDDC or the federal, other federal agencies should be committed to have to complete the access road so that the Yoda Popo should be opened up where landlocked. After waiting to no end on the federal government to come to their aid, the Ibide Development Forum decided to embark on a self help mission to at least reopen the abandoned road. Government is not listening to us, so nobody is listening to us. So we, the Ibidians, people of Ibidi, we want to take our salvation in our hands. We want to self-help, want to engage our self-help to get across to the east-west road. Matching their words with action, the Igbide Development Forum mobilized its members and commenced work to create their own direct access route. They did this by leasing a heavy-duty bulldozer equipment from the Delta State's own direct labor agency, DLA.
However, upon commencement of construction on the road, persons suspected to belong to hostile neighboring communities that always use the access route through their community as leverage against Igbido people set the bulldozer ablaze in a deliberate attempt to frustrate the efforts of the Igbide people to develop their own direct access to the east-west road. 39 years after it was abandoned, Igbide residents want the federal government to see to the immediate construction of the Akuga Road, which links their community directly to the east-west road for their collective security. They are also optimistic that the construction of the road will open up Igbide and its surrounding communities for increased socio-economic activities in the area. Inside the Niger Delta, 